All right, today's going to be a fun one. Welcome back to Bible Rhythms. No live stream, but it's going to be good because today we're talking about my favorite thing. Things. All different kinds of things. Things that work. Things that are just kind of interesting. Things that are cool. I'm talking about Bible study gear. And this is the kind of stuff that I really enjoy. Maybe you don't, but I really enjoy finding out what people use like what bag do they use? What Bible do they have? You know, what's some of the gear that they have that helps them get their Bible studies done or sermon writing, you know, those kinds of things. So today we're doing that. We're doing a gear episode and we're starting off with my bag. I love this thing. Now I've been hooked on Timbuktu bags since probably 2010. You know, before that it was like to kind backpacks and things that you could do BMX stuff in and all of that. 2010 it's transitioned to these because they're just so cool and i don't really have any other reasoning other than that they're cool like they they're they're you know weatherproof and they have pockets and all that kind of stuff but really it's because they're kind of cool it's the stuff that the messenger bikers in new york who are making everyone mad because they're whipping around cars real fast this is what they use and i think it's awesome so timbuktu this is my mini i've had it for five years uh, it's held up really well. Almost looks like it's brand new, and I take it literally everywhere. So this, these things can take a beating. Uh, but you probably aren't super interested in the bag. Maybe you are, but probably you're more interested in what's inside. So I'm just going through the basics, okay? All right, if you're doing Bible study, you got to start off with a Bible, right? You got to start off with the Word of God. Now, as I've said many times here on my channel... I'm a CSB guy. That hasn't always been the case, but about, oh man, it's been a while now. Uh, probably three or four years ago, I made the switch from the ESV to the CSB because my context, I think, kind of requires it. People aren't super uh, Bible literate. They haven't you know, grown up with it. They don't know what the King James means, and sometimes the ESV is a little too formal. So uh, the CSB is where I'm at. Now, if I'm going out... Uh, this is the Bible that I use when I'm out of the house. Now, this is just a genuine leather CSB uh, personal reference size Bible. It's good. You know, it's, it's, it's actually a lot better quality because it's like one of the cheap leather ones. Uh, it's better quality than you would think. Like Holman did a pretty good job with this. But this is the one that I use when I'm out because I don't want to take this one out. Now, I have a video here on my channel about this one. This is the CSB goatskin verse by verse Bible, and it is gorgeous. I mean, just look at it. Look at it. It's like, do you see like the shine coming off of this thing? It's, it's the Holy Bible. Like sometimes you're like, that's a Bible. And sometimes you're just like, wow, that's the Holy Bible. That's what this is. And I love it so much. It was given to me from one of my internet friends. Very thankful for it. I use it all the time, but because it's goat skin and it's high quality and, you know, this is the like best Bible I've ever owned. So it doesn't go everywhere with me. This one, it stays in the office. All right. In the studio. Uh, but this one, this is the one that I take pretty much everywhere. So I got my Bible and then I need some stuff to write on because I'm a writer. Now, I'm not one of those guys. If you look through my Bibles, you're not going to find notes everywhere. All right. You're going to find blank pages. Why is that? Because I'm just not one of those guys who's going to write inside my Bible. I just don't do that. Uh, I used to. I could show you this guy. Uh, this is <laughs> some of you guys will really laugh at this. Uh, this is my MacArthur study Bible that I used in Bible college, and it is taken a beating but i mean you can see inside this one of like all the the writing and uh underlines and all the many little sermons that i wrote inside these pages man this is like this is like one of those like time portals like all of a sudden i'm back in 2007 uh but you know it's kind of fun to look through but i don't generally write in my bible instead i have notebooks I have all different kinds of notebooks. I have notebooks coming out the wazoo, okay? I've got tons and tons of notebooks. Now, not always. Like, I try to keep things actually pretty minimal in my bag. Uh, but these are the ones that I generally 
use. So I'll start off with just like these. I like having just a little like three by five kind of style of a notebook. Uh, this is one, let's see, go over here. This is one, I don't know if you can see it on the bottom. This is a bad robot one, bad robot workshop. I won a contest. It was pretty sweet. Um, but, uh, so like I just, I just write random things in here about a text when I'm doing a Bible study. Uh, so usually when I'm like most of the time, if I'm out and I'm doing a Bible study, I'm at Starbucks because I love Starbucks. Um, and I got my Bible. I got one of these or one of these and, uh, Actually, I should show you something else. Some of you guys are going to be like, all right, you're just like showing off now. A little bit. Um, this is this is what I use. Where'd that pocket go? Well, I got pens and pencils that I'll talk about in a sec. But I mean, if I'm really studying, if I'm really studying, maybe I'm busting out the iPod Nano. <laughs> or maybe uh, the iPod 30 gig video. I still use this stuff. Still works when it's charged. Uh, but if I'm out, I really like to do that because I actually try to keep my computer in the bag unless I need to do some actual computer work. And I do have my iPad, but I only use it for Logos and only once I'm like really done looking at a passage for myself and I need some study helps and start looking at commentaries and digging into the Greek a little bit more. That's what the iPad's for, but I really try to keep those in the bag when I'm doing a Bible study. Uh, but I'm writing on one of these. Uh, I'm using uh, pens. Some of you guys are like real, like you want to know everything about what people use. So let me let me show you a few things. Uh, probably my standard, like the my standard favorite pen is the Sharpie Gel. Uh, these things are amazing. This is a 0.5. So it's a very fine one, but still it gets kind of like that, that bold kind of a look. I really like that when I'm writing. Uh, but actually Joe Thorne told me about these um, Muji pens. And they are like, they're Japanese and they're just like super fine. It's almost like you're writing with one of those fountain pens. And so I really like that because you get kind of a feel of writing with a fountain pen, but it's not as blotchy as a fountain pen. Now, some, some of you guys know how to write with a fountain pen really well and not get any like ink going all over the place. I'm kind of messy with a fountain pen. So I like this a whole lot better. So thanks Joe for that. Uh, and then also, you know, for me, usually I'm actually writing with a pencil. So I am looking at the Palomino Blackwing. Some of you guys know this one. This is the most expensive pencil you can find, but also the best. And now I will say some of you guys will, might get blinded by like you might look at the white ones and you're just like, oh, that white is killer. It looks so beautiful. I want that one. Go with the gray. Just stick with the gray. These are the uh, 602s. I think they're better for writing. Um, they're they're better than the the white pearl ones. The I'm just saying uh, that's that's my opinion. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm off, but those are the ones that I use, and I do love their sharpener. Uh, that's the one that I usually have in my bag. So that's that's what I'm writing with. Now, what I'm writing on, it's either one of these, maybe a field notes. I've got a bunch over in that cabinet over there. Uh, but then, you know, I'm really repping for Doc and Devo today. Uh, but I, I like these Lectrum 1917s. Uh, so I've got quite a few of them. I always try to put, you know, some stickers on just to have a little bit of fun with them. Uh, some missional wear kind of stuff. Uh, but... I love these. I'm real, but if I'm just goofing off and writing, like this is when I'm like trying to get business done because these are expensive. Um, at least where I live, they're expensive. But usually, it would be one of these while I'm just kind of just taking some general notes, or one of these. Now, this is a moleskin, uh, just a normal one, and I'll just write you know random notes in here. I think this one's basically full, or still still has a little bit of room, uh, but you know. Got to represent. Got to got to go Star Wars, right? Like it's, 
I have to. I have to. It's who I am. Um, but those are some of the things that I use. Like I said, then I use Lagos uh, for a lot of like my deeper study. Um, but for me, I try to keep things as like tactile as I can, you know, just like real tangible things I can touch, uh, things that I can not get distracted with. And that's part of like the whole even like having like an iPod to plug into. It's not just because I like being like retro, although it's kind of fun. Um, but I, I like the idea of not being distracted and sometimes even, even just this thing, this phone can distract you quite a bit. Um, but, and that's not what you want to do when you're doing a Bible study, you want to study the Bible. So get the things that help you to study the Bible. This is just some of the stuff that helped me. Let me know in the comment section whether you use any of this stuff, what kind of notepads you use. Are you a pen guy? A pencil girl like what what which one which one is it which is the right answer do you write in your bible i want to know all that kind of stuff leave it down in the comment section if you are watching this youtube's going to show you something else they're going to be like hey you should go and watch this video i don't know what they're going to recommend but it's probably the right one so maybe click over here and i'll see you in the next one